can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. The coefficient of x raised to the 48 power in this product, x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 all the way down to x minus 50 is blank. Is it letter A, 1,275, B, 50 factorial, C, 791,350, or D, none of the above? Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to use what we call the Bietas formula for the polynomial with the nth degree. Now, given that a sub 1, a sub 2, and up to a sub n are the roots of this polynomial, a sub n times x raised to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 all the way down to a sub 0 equals 0. Then we know that the sum of the roots using the Bietas formula, the sum of the roots must be equivalent to the negative of a sub n minus 1 all over a sub n. And the sum of pairs, the roots, is equivalent to a sub n minus 2 all over a sub n and all the way down to this product. So the product of the roots is equivalent to the a sub 0 all over a sub n. By the way, multiply by negative 1 raised to the power of n. Now, set aside this Bietas formula and let's equate our product into 0. Why we do that? Because from here, we can say that the roots of this equation simply equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, until 50. So that's the roots of this equation. Also, if we multiply this, we know that the highest power of x must be equal to 50. So we have here x raised to the power of 50 plus a sub n minus 1. By the way, a sub n here is just 1. This is a monic polynomial. So a sub n minus 1 times x raised to the power 49, which is this is the sum of the roots of this equation, plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to the power 48, all the way down to the product of the roots, which is 50 factorial. So 50 factorial is the product. So letter B is not the answer. So the only choice is letter A or letter C, maybe letter D or none of the above. And now from here, what we're going to do is to take note that we want this expression right over here, which is a sub n minus 2, because this is the coefficient of x raised to the 48 power. And take note, this a sub n minus 2 is what we call the sum of pairs of the roots. So technically speaking, we need to have 1 times 2 plus 1 times 3 all the way down to 2 times 3 time, plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 5 all the way down to 49 times 50. And that's what we want to find. Now, the question is how do we get this sum? And the answer is this identity on the bottom part. So let's focus on this. So it says that the sum of the squares of the roots of a, this polynomial is equivalent to the sum of the roots raised to the power of 2 minus 2 times the sum of pairs. So now, if we rearrange some terms a little bit, we can say that 2 times the sum of pairs is equivalent to the sum of the roots raised to the power of 2 minus the sum of the squares of the roots. So now, if we want the sum of pairs only, let's divide all of this term by 2. And here's the formula to find the sum of pairs, which is what we want to find. So now, let's focus on this. And what we're going to do is to apply what we know. We know the roots of this equation. If we equate this to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 50. So we have 1 half multiply the sum of the roots. We have 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way down to 50 raised to the power of 2 minus the sum of the squares of the roots, which is 1 squared plus 2 squared up to 50 squared. And we have a formula to find the sum of this. 
we have n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2. And the sum of this, we can use this formula, n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1 all over 6. Therefore, this is equivalent to just 1 half multiplied by 50 multiplied by 1 plus 50 over 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 50 times 50 plus 1 multiplied by 2 times 50 or simply equal to 100 plus 1 all over 6. Now, let's focus on this result because this is just the sum of pairs or the coefficient of x raised to the power of 48. Now, simplify this. We have 1 half multiplied by 25 times 51 raised to the power of 2 minus 25 times 17 times 101. And this simplifies to 1,582,700. Now, divide this by 2 we get 791,350. Therefore, our answer to this question is letter C, 791,350. Therefore, the coefficient of x raised to the 48 in this product simply equivalent to 791,350. And as always, we are done.